In olden times, Yemen was ruled by a virtuous king. He was very kind to his subjects. He had four daughters. One of whom was a beautiful princess, whose beauty was hidden by the other princesses. The name of this princess was Princess Saba. Once her father went abroad for some business. He asked all his daughters their wishes. These three sisters asked to bring precious jewels. When the kind asked the fourth daughter that if you need anything, tell me. Princess Saba said, "I want a rose flower." Her father used to forget something, so he brought flower only for Princess Saba. He had forgotten the rest. When he came home, the princesses were standing at the door waiting for their father. When their father came, he had nothing but a flower. The princesses despised their father by saying bad things to their father. Princess Saba went to the room and started crying. Her father came into the room and gave her the flower. The king said that the most valuable things in the world is the service of parents. So, when the king went abroad for the second time, everyone asked to bring their own things. But Princess Saba remained silent on this. She thought that this time there would be nothing that would make my father is heart hurt. The king bought jewels for his daughters. There was a forest on the way. The king was passing through this forest and he saw a bat sitting on a tree. That bat was actually a terrible genie. He impressed the king. A prince was watching this whole scene. He took out his sharp sword and hit the bat on the neck. The bat died instantly. The prince took the king to the place and narrated the whole story to his daughters. The princesses came to their father and apologized to their father for their disobedience. The king at that time felt proud of Saba among all his daughters and embraced all his daughters. And then the king gave his daughter Saba got married to this prince. and then everyone lived happy ever after watch out being together is blessed we should also survey our parents like princess saba and not say anything that hurts the parents